Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today it's going to be very complicated. I hope you can follow along. I hope I don't screw things up. Uh, we're going to be talking about Windows functions, total, and then column grand totals. Uh, please subscribe, please like, and please leave messages. All right, so I'm going to start off here. This is with some sample so Superstore data. We just pulled Idaho because it's a smaller group of uh, smaller items, and you can get your head around it. Just picked shipping mode, category, subcategory. You can make that a little bit bigger. And I threw sales, total of sales, and total, I mean, average sales. And this is something just to point out at the very beginning, I threw it into Excel just to double check. And if you look at um, the average sales, trust me, the numbers add up. But if you take the average of all these values, it does not come to 209, it comes to 221. Why is that? What's happening is this average is the average of all the underlying um, items, the rows that are there. If we bring over order detail, you'll see here in a little bit, but if you bring over order detail, and product ID actually is the one we really need, what you'll see is um, this number is accurate now. So let's quickly go through here. Um, now that we have the product ID and the order ID added, if we look at the sum of the sales and the average, they're the same all the way down. Okay, that means they're previously, and I'll show you here in a second, previously they had, let me show you right now, paper, summing the paper, and the average was different, meaning there was three or four different papers then which brought down the average. Can we back up? So now we have all the papers identified, all the orders identified, each sale sum equals each average. Now what we can do is come over to this, the measures card, under sale, sum of sales, go down, everybody uses this measure sum. We're gonna go here to total using and change it to average. And so it's just taking the average, and now we know that that is it's the same. And you can see as the categories change, what's happening is this is taking an average of all the sum. And that's going to be important when we when I show you these next items. So come down here, total. We're going to go back to sum. That's the total of sales for Idaho. Now, I've already created a, a calculated field. Very simple. Using the total function, and it needs uh, an expression inside it, so I'm saying average of sales. And what this is going to do is this is going to give me the total average of sales over the whole spreadsheet, uh, worksheet, and it's going to apply it to each row. So if I drop this in here, you'll see the average for the entire worksheet, as defined here, is 209.69. I mean 208.69, basically 209. And so now we are showing that all the way down and you can use this for other referencing other calculations depending on what you want to do but that's important this 209 here refers to the all the underlying data set regardless of what we've got shown here okay so now we're going to bring in windows sum or windows average window average, and I want to average, get the average of the sum of the sales. And what's going to happen is it's going to calculate the sum of sales based on what's being shown and take an average of those. Okay. 
drop that here. And so now we get some numbers that don't make sense at the onset. We see here the sum, because we did a, because uh, when you're doing the grand total, it's based off of all the data. It's not looking at dimensions that you may have included. So if we took got rid of everything, we had one item. So the average of that one item is that item. So we'll back up and add in all that stuff again. So where does the 292 come from? What we're doing, now remember if we add, because there's rows and columns that are hidden in here. So if we take the order ID, bring that in, and the product ID, Now we can see we've got all the detail and now the windows, the window average equals the total average, which also equals the average sales. So let me run through that just one more time because I, I've run through this about four or five times. The way I think of it is total and it's going to, I mean, it's going to take the average over the entire um, data set, right? Regardless of what dimensions you've got broken in there, which is why this number here equals this. Because this does the same thing. This takes the whole data set and doesn't pay any attention to any dimensions that you might have up here. And the windows... It calculates this function here, this item here, the sum of sales, and then it does a calculation for what is the average, looking at the window, looking at what items are visible. I strongly recommend you going in and playing around with this. As you pull categories off, the numbers will change, right? Now you remember, this 487 is going to represent this value here. Okay, I've put it in, I've typed it into the Excel just to double check. This 486.94 equals the 487. Another way to check it is come under the sum of sales, and we're going to total it using the average. And so that's the value that's going to show up on each row. And then this value down here, this is, is the value you would get if you didn't have any of these other items here. So if we got rid of these other dimensions, sum of the sales is 4382. What is the average of one number? It's that same number. And remember, the average of the sales in the total average sales, it's looking at all the underlying data, regardless of the dimensions you have up there. It's very confusing. I highly recommend going back through a couple times, playing with these numbers, total versus window sum, two different items. Just as a bonus, if we were to change this from Windows window average to window sum, you know what we would get? We should get that 4,000 number. We should still get this 4,382 because we're going to be adding up all those values, all those sums. Yep, 4,382 all the way down. And we got to change this back to sum. Hope this helps. Leave comments. Let me know if you want to see something else. Thanks for watching.